we're going it's sunday and it's pretty a day didn't vlog yesterday just because uh just stuff is it on autofocus i don't think it is autofocus autofocus work there we go um didn't vlog that much yesterday just because it was a, a chill day, nothing too exciting. Except for hanging out with friends towards the end of the night, played some Monopoly, played some games, had some fun just hanging out, not doing a whole lot, just um, enjoying the weekend. And going to do some more today, just enjoying the weekend, playing, um, going to play some games, going to update my um, hard drives for um, my NAS, my Drobo. We'll do that in just a bit, uh, but first I gotta like clean my room and stuff because it's it's a mess. My desk is a mess. I gotta uh, edit videos and stuff. I have to shoot some videos. Probably gonna play for a little bit today and then uh, edit a little bit later today. I have to go to sleep early tonight because uh, I work at 4 a.m. again, um, which really sucks, but it is what it is. Um, gonna be a good day just like yesterday, and hopefully um, everything goes according to plan. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I don't know what just happened. I hope I did not lose any of my information. I was originally at eight, almost eight gigabytes, and you can hear two in the background. I almost had eight gigabytes um, filled up. Now, if I didn't have to do that update, I probably would have just not worried about it but if you can see there we go all those blue dots weren't lining up uh, they light up there should be a yellow dot right around there the top one should be yellow in just a little bit um, it is in IRL in real life um, just has to transfer the data to my computer I was worried for a second that I lost a lot of data um, it was showing like three bars when um, I should have had. Here we go. Yellow warning. Drobo is running low on free space. And that's what we're doing today. There it is. There's the yellow at the top. So just waiting on uh, a few things. About to... Um, about to upgrade to a six terabyte hard drive. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. I'm not going to do like a time lapse because I'm afraid it might go like a whole day. There we go. 7.2 terabytes used. 1.3, 1.03 terabytes free space. 14% is left. And um, that is, that's kind of not good. When I need a documentary and stuff to get done, I need uh, a whole bunch of other stuff like transferring, backing up, uh, game videos, a games, and um, and the vlog. So we're gonna just fix that real quick, making sure all my USB stuff is connected properly. I got this new this new um, USB 3.0 hub. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can definitely get power, but you can't get uh, you can't get it to like show up on the computer, and it's it's very annoying. It's very annoying. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna unbox. Ugh, I hate the sound of my chair. I gotta get a new one. So we're gonna unbox one-handedly, even though I already unboxed it, um, just to make sure everything was right. We are going to unbox. 
this uh, this hard drive. I know there's no no information that will be seen, no personal information. So here we go. Six terabytes. Now everything's popping up on the uh, USB 3.0 hub. Everything showing up. Um, six terabytes of uh, of Western Digital NAS storage. It is network attached storage. Uh, that's what NAS stands for. And so yeah, the um, the hard drive, six terabyte hard drive, is for. Um, NAS, network attached storage or servers or stuff like that. So it's perfect for my little Drobo server. I'm going to um, do the process of taking the hard drive out as it's going. I've never done it before, but here it goes. There's going to be a, um, uh, a little bit of a panic mode for me because I've never done this before. And I guess I should, uh, I should screen cap this. You know, because I've never done it before, and maybe I can show you what it's like. If you ever get a Drobo with um, hard drives, it doesn't have to be a uh, a red hard drive, um, Western Digital Red. I only get it because I need um, I need the reliability. You can get any hard drive, put it in a Drobo, start off with um, one terabytes. Um, like five one terabytes would give you five terabytes, but um, single drive will be as a, a backup in case one fails. So that would mean um, you would have four terabytes total. I did the math a couple of vlogs ago. Go check it out. So we're gonna. Um, I'm going to set up a screen cap and a. Uh, um, a screen cap and a video mode as we do this. Um, I think I can actually do this. I'll be right back, give me a second. So a little thanks to my uh, impulse buying. Um, a little bit of a bad habit that I gotta get rid of. I bought an HDMI cable a while ago for my camera. So you can see that at the bottom right. And I'm recording my screen, uh, the Drobo, and we're gonna just do this in real time. Um, there might be a small delay, but here we go. Um, just this magnet or this this front facing cover has a magnet. It shows you all the information that you need um, to look out for. Green is healthy and a, a drive here soon. Don't remove this drive if it's blinking both uh, yellow and green. Add a drive here now is uh, basically it's done. Um, Drive failure replace immediately if it's blinking. If it's a if it's a hard red, then uh, add a drive. But if it's a uh, blinking red, then you really need to add a drive. Um, so to make it real easy, um, I, the reason why I bought this is because it's super easy to upgrade. I know I need to uh, I need to dust it off. I probably need to do that before I do any of this, but. Um, I'll do that after everything's all set and go. I can't dust it off while it's running, um, just because it'll get inside and whatever. Always dust everything before you uh, replace like computer hardware. But they make it real easy to replace um, and real easy to upgrade because I don't have to do any programming or anything for this um, for this upgrade. So I'm gonna replace the yellow with six terabyte, like we said. I know it's out of focus because I put it in manual. I'm gonna open up the package. Now people make the mistake of, um, what I've heard was there's anti-static wrap on, um, on hard drives and any other like PC hardware. It's anti-static when it's in the bag first, but when it, when it's pulled out, the anti-static goes away, and if you put something in it again, um, it'll just create static. Static is bad for any PC hardware. It will destroy anything. Slight bit of shock will destroy the most expensive piece of hardware. Here we go. The um, six terabyte hard drive 
Should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy upgrade. Here we go. Just, there's a button release. It will push out the drive, kind of. Now it's going to notice that there's a drive missing as I pull this out. I was going to say, hey, nothing's working. Um, there's still a drive missing. There we go. There's the red. And then slide it right in. I try not to make as much movement as possible because there are drives still spinning. And if you um, move it, it could scratch the disc. The reed head could scratch the disc. And I believe I was out of focus, but it's whatever. Here we go. We're back in focus. Um, now I believe it has to reset. I don't know what happened. Um, let's see. Looking for Drobo. Looking for connected Drobos. What's happening? Okay, so it's uh, trying to allocate um, and read the new hard drive. Like I said before, ooh, this is pretty warm. I'm gonna keep this hard drive because uh, in case any other one fails, I can just put it right in um, while I'm trying to upgrade to six terabytes for each hard drive. Um, and then I'll probably sell them afterwards. I've been using this uh, setup for quite a while. I would say two years maybe. Um, and it's been on for the greater part of two years. I know I need to dust off everything. So once it's all done allocating the space, then I'll turn it off, dust off everything. My Drobo redundancy has failed. Drive redundancy is in critical state with no extra drives due to a fail or remove drive. Do not remove any drive that was green, basically. Um, but now it's trying, it notices it's a six terabyte and it's trying to data protect in progress. So it's going to allocate all the hard drives. Most likely this one will be the, the fail safe, I, I think. Um, and we'll just go from there. I believe that's all that happens. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this around like two o'clock in the afternoon is because I don't know how long this takes. This is a learning experience for you and me. Um, like I said, Drobo makes it real easy to create your own server. They do all the hard work and put it in the box and uh, the box just has no hard drives. Fill it up with whatever hard drives you want. Um, don't have to worry about programming or anything like that. Just um, the easiest ease of use. Set up and go. Some uh, boxes like the Drobo 5N, because it's network, um, by other companies, servers like this, uh, you have to have the same exact hard drives in every, um, in every slot. This one you can mix and match, what makes it so easy. Um, if I were to upgrade a different box, I believe it'd have to be six terabytes, um, in each hard drive space, same Western Digital NAS hard drive, um, hard drives basically. I wouldn't be able to get a black or ca uh, black caviar or green or blue hard drive. They would all have to match. Drobo makes it so easy for you to um, to upgrade. That's why I picked them. Now. I'm not going to record the whole data protection in progress because it's saying approximately 10 hours remaining. But I will leave this computer on. I will leave this, um, uh, this Drobo on until it's done. It should not take that long. 10 hours um, is actually good, I guess. It could have been uh, 24 hours or whatever. So like I said, I'm going to do some gaming right now. And um, yeah, that's about it. Just... I upgraded to six terabytes on one out of five hard drives. Just gotta get four more. <laughs> so it's nighttime now and my hair looks like crap. Um, 
what happened? Played some games, recorded some games. Uh, I believe it's on now. It's on autofocus. Uh, played some games, recorded some games. The Drobo is still working. It's going to be going until midnight, most likely, or past midnight. So I'm going to keep my computer on, but uh, unplug everything so I can get it ready for work tomorrow. Um, made some shrimp scampi for the first time. Turned out pretty good. Um, Sarah made a really nice steak. So steak, shrimp, scampi, surf and turf. It was a pretty good dinner, and I should be in bed by now because I gotta be up at 3 o'clock. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.